We remain a large retail portfolio, so the metrics that support great retail environments remain at the center of what we focus on. Our year-on-year -year turnover growth exceeds 6%. Retention rates on lease renewals remain better than 85%, whilst we are projecting to close reversions on the retail portfolio at greater than 1% positive, and that the portfolio hasn't seen in a long time. When you combine this with escalation rates in the portfolio, still between 5 and 6%, this shows some good health in the retail portfolio. We do of course monitor that these rental rates that we charge are affordable for our, for our retailers in comparison to their turnovers, and these remain healthy and are well within the historical highs for this portfolio. Vacancies in the retail portfolio remain less than 3.5%, and food count is up by double digits. Our offices at the moment are 85% occupied, but importantly, has a healthy retention rate and is looking like the year will end with 4% four, uh, 4 positive uh, reversions on lease uh, renewals this year. Our hospitality assets are on a very healthy upward trajectory with healthy occupancy ratios in excess of 70% for the two hotels that are open. The macro environment remains challenging, but we are starting to see, I believe, some green shoots in, in the outlooks. The wind in our favor Decreasing interest rates are positive for both our consumers and obviously has a positive impact on our property valuations or, or are expected to. GDP growth sentiment is positive. Utility cost increases remain a concern for us. You would have seen the asking rates for electricity hikes, etc. And that's a problem. It's unsustainable in this country. Yes, the consumer remains under strain and the country obviously still has very high unemployment rates and that impacts spend especially in retail portfolios. Aging infrastructure has been a concern and does not couple with threat to the security of water supply is a concern to us, especially in the Gauteng region. You'll see our efforts at Santon City in the Batia Court node, where there's been some changes over the last 12 months. You'll see some more of that Edgar space coming back over the next 12 months, in addition to what has happened already. And you'll see, from a strategic perspective, how our ultra-luxury node, the Diamond Walk, it's expanded into a luxury node as well, okay? Um, and this is not happening by chance, it's, it's, it's the strategic intent of the asset manager for Central City to get that right, and it's, it's, it's good in this. But I think most amazingly in our portfolio at this stage is that I've emphasized the big strides the team have made at Eastgate. We have seen significant improvement in the returns out of that asset and its valuation over the last call of three years. We've got targeted redu reductions on energy and water usage. Um, and transitioning away from the use of municipal water and, and grid energy towards different supplies of, of, of energy and water. So in terms of energy, the poster child for sustainability is solar, <laughs> solar rollout, uh, and be part of that. Um, it gives incredibly good financial returns. Um, it is dependable. It's become a very sophisticated industry. It's a very mature industry in this country. At the end of our solar rollout, we'll be sitting on 17 megawatts of solar power, which will be by the end of next year, which will take us off the grid by around 16, 17% of our energy supply. The two big achievements this year, we put in our first uh, one megawatt of solar at Sandton City. Uh, and we've also put in an additional 5 megawatts at, at Eastgate. So currently in South Africa, uh, Eastgate is the biggest solar rooftop PV uh, system in the country, which we're very proud of. Uh, and just uh, a nugget of information around that, there's 14,000 solar panels on Eastgate's roof. So the big uh, driver around water reduction is the replacement of our air conditioning systems. Most of those systems were either at end of life, exceeded end of life, or very close to end of life. Um, so we've, we've moved away from water-cooled air conditioning systems to air-cooled uh, systems. And that intervention <coughs> alone, those projects we're rolling out across all the retail centers, will be done by next year as well. Uh, those are all tracking actually ahead of schedule. Those will reduce our water consumption uh, by close to 20%. It's modeled at around 18 to 20% reduction of our water. Very briefly on waste, we've achieved net zero waste accreditation in 2024. Uh, for a period of 12 months prior to the accreditation through the Green Building Council of South Africa. And we actually won an innovation award at the SAPOA convention in September uh, for the first uh, portfolio in the country to achieve um, that, that performance, which we, we're very, very proud of. So that um, 
simplistically, we are diverting over 90% of our waste that we're generating on our sites away from landfills. Um, and, and we started that journey about three years ago where that percentage was around 35%. So we've had a significant improvement um, in, in that regard.